Hey there, you're watching the Jessa channel on YouTube. I'm Jessa, and today I am here with more of Tex Murphy, The Tesla Effect. We are hanging out here on Chandler Avenue. More plot lines have been introduced. We now know uh, what ne Nicholas Tesla has to do about this mystery or we're finding out about him. We also need to find out about Margaret Leonard. Um, there's a JT Donnelly. A pa this is a lot of stuff about uh, a storyline that's just it's great. It's great. Very interesting. And um, we're going to dive right in because we have some exploring to do as well on Chandler Avenue. Here we are, back in Texas Place. So, so far, what we have seen is information about the white Russians, um, Nicholas Tesla, who was a real person, look him up on Wikipedia, who was responsible for a lot of really amazing um, inventions. So I know about Nicholas uh, Tesla or Nikola Tesla. And um, there's also a plot line about Russians, a possible kind of bomb that was, was uh, set off 40 years before the atomic bomb that Nicholas Tesla may have had something to do with. Um, there's also the memory loss, the neurosurgeon that's been, uh, abducted his wife, not to mention the cryo chamber that we found that's keeping something safe. Uh, just a whole lot of story going on here, but there is something that we forgot to do. Well, I should say, whenever I say we forgot, I mean, I forgot, totally forgot. Uh, we forgot a place. There's a place to explore here. Ooh, cool. This became a highly sought-after neighborhood post-World War III when it was found that the radiation couldn't penetrate through all the lead paint. The Coit Tower is a place that uh, I have not yet seen. There it is. Tall and grandiose and rather old-looking. A historical landmark. Let's head on inside and see what there is to see. Uh, I was hoping that there'd be another Candy Comics. I like the little mini collectible game they have here. Oh, yeah, you can see occasionally flying cars. You can see a flying car over there. That must be a highway or a skyway. One of the complaints I've seen about this game so far in the criticism, oh, that's not a candy comic, that's Circus Peanuts. My nose has started sagging lately. Makes it hard to breathe. Now, what kind of info are you looking for, huh? Whoa. I remember that guy. I think that's from Under a Killing Moon, but I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. Coit Tower, once one of the great landmarks of the city, is now a broken down monument symbolizing the world that's passed us by. Yeah. I wonder if that building over there with the green top is like the new monuments, or one of the new monuments in town. But anyway, one of the criticisms I have seen of the game is uh, the textures. The text textures textures is a word I have a trouble I have trouble saying but anyway um are really low res <clears throat> and I can definitely see that it doesn't bother me though it just seems I don't know seems appropriate what do we have going on here hmm no flavor text just boxes You see a blue light and you're just desperate to click on it just to see what happens. Okay, going up. 
Wait, before I go up in this thing, because I read that somebody was went up in this one was, was unable to get down. Ah, yeah, perfect. Right there, there's a little button. Hey, wait for me, wait for me! <laughs> Whee! Woo! Wow, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> Wow, my stomach just flew up in my mouth. <laughs> that was quite a speedy little thing there. Most of the reviews of Tesla Effect are really positive. You know, 4 out of 5, 9 out of 10, you know, that kind of thing. <clears throat> One of the gaming larger gaming sites gave it a 6.8, I believe, out of 10. But I also think that this man was not an adventure gamer. They did not get the right man to to uh, cover the game. He didn't really, he had never played Tex Murphy before, uh, which really shouldn't be a requirement for the review, but it he didn't, he, he didn't even seem like an adventure gamer. Ah, oh, beautiful view. Koi Tower, once one oh. of the great landmarks of the city, is now a broken down monument symbolizing the world that's passed us by. Oh, even in adventure games I get dizzy. <laughs> I wonder if you can go off the side or if there's an invisible wall. Let's find out. Ah! Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> They're dead. Don't be sad. It's probably the most satisfying <laughs> ending this case was ever going to have. I jumped from the koi. <laughs> I am so glad that the developers did not put an invisible wall and did play to our inevitable desire to jump off the top of something. <laughs> At least in a game to see what happens. San Francisco Historical Landmark. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm sure that won't be the last time we see a death. Wow. It's pretty cool. Won't be the last time we see a death and a death scene up here. In this game, I'm sure I will die again. And this time, probably, or that time, not on purpose. So, okay. I thought there might be, like, at least a candy comic up here or something. But not a... Just a nice view. A gorgeous view of San Francisco. Beautiful. I actually have a very good friend who is a fourth generation San Francisco N. And he's very proud of it. <clears throat> Unfortunately, though, neither he nor his brother had any children, so... <laughs> so I guess that stops there. Nobody's going to get to brag about being a fifth gen generation San Francisco N. Hey, look, Ma, I can see my house from here. Okay. Let's get off this thing. <laughs> I'm glad that they let us go up here, but I do wish they'd given us some sort of reward besides jumping off. <laughs> that is. <laughs> but if the, if the case gets any more depressing... <laughs> if Tex Murphy feels like calling it all in... <laughs> we know where to go for a quick and easy death. Getting dizzy, coming down these stairs. I apologize to anyone else who's getting dizzy too. You can maybe um, just listen to the video in the background. <laughs> At least until we get off this thing. Alrighty. Going down. Wah, my tummy! Ah! <laughs> Excuse me while I hurl. <laughs> oh! Yeah, that, that wasn't pleasant, even though it's only in a game. That seriously, my tummy just went up a bit. <laughs> okay. Well, that was fun. And we didn't find any more candy comics. Bummer. I wonder if this will play a role in the ending of the game, like there'll be a great denouement up there. A denouement. 
Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> this comes the part of the evening where I have recorded maybe a little bit too much and I'm now getting a bit slap happy. I love it. People just leave a bus or a car, just leave it there. Is that like a tram car or something? Just say, well, I guess I'm tired of looking at that and just leave it. Did we go in here already? I think we did, yeah. Yeah, there was a candy comic in here already. Oh! Scary in there. Okay, let's start asking around about Margaret Leonard. Hey, you Holly! How's it hanging? Hey, Tex. How's your case progressing? I just, I just want to say you're just like the cutest thing ever. Margaret Leonard, can you search your databanks and find out if you know anything about her? Sorry, I don't know a lot of people, except the ones that come in here. And freeze gun? Not a clue. I asked her about that just to clear up the thing, but we've already found the freeze gun. <laughs> Holograms are supposed to know everything. Um, okay. I don't see why Rusty's fun mask would know, but I'll ask if that's the last place we can go. But, and Rooks is closed, that chicken. And I don't know why the electronics shop would possibly know about Margaret Leonard, but you never know. Not again. You're gonna get me fired. Or worse. <laughs> Margaret Leonard? Do you recognize this photo? I feel like... I feel like we're law and order guys going around shoving photos in people's faces. <laughs> I remember her. Sweet little old lady. Used to see her around the neighborhood years ago. Don't remember the last time I saw her. One review particularly noted that this actor um, has a hard time not looking at the teleprompter, which I have to agree. Uh, let's go to Louis. Maybe he knows her. Plus, I just love hearing him say Moif. I hope you don't mind, Moif. I've been telling folks in the neighborhood about your situation, just so they know it's the old text they're dealing with. Let me know what else I can do for you. You're awesome. <laughs> oh, I know this little lady. I haven't seen her around in quite a while, but she used to come in pretty regular. I think she lived at the Ritz, at least for a time. She and Chelsea were real friendly. Hmm, pretty sure her name wasn't Margaret Leonard, though. At least that ain't the name she told me. I wonder what name she did tell you. You know, Louis, we've been having a couple of odd dreams. You know, we've been punching through walls in the middle of the night. Things have been rough. Help us out. I know you was having bad dreams way back when. But I didn't hear nothing else about them after, you know, the thing with Chelsea happened. Mm, thanks, Louis. You're awesome. I'll come in and order some grits one day. And if you guys don't know what grits are, oh, what above the northern border table have you been living under? <laughs> I love grits. Still can't believe I'm working with the one and only Tex Murphy. What can I do for you, sir? You're awesome. <laughs> do you know this woman? That's the witch. At least that's what I call her. A couple times I've seen this old lady sneaking around the neighborhood. Huh. Okie dokie. So she's been sneaking around the hood, but she doesn't live at the Ritz anymore. But if you remember, I think two episodes ago or so now, two episodes ago or so, um, <clears throat> we went up to the second floor of the Ritz Hotel and saw an apartment that had a bloody handprint outside. And guess what? It's time to go visit. ding ling ling If you were looking for me earlier, I wasn't here. <laughs> uh, 
PI 101. <laughs> yeah. I'm a PI, so I figured that one out already. Now that you're back, I wonder if you could help me out with something. You recognize the woman in this photo? Oh, nice. I think I saw her in a playbook from 1996. Is this your girlfriend? <laughs> He's so odd. And I'm pretty sure that he is not the same guy who played... In fact, I'm 98% positive that he's not the same guy uh, that played the old, this version of the character back in the previous games when this character lived in a, in a dumpster. It's pretty funny. Um, let's go for PI-202 because I want to see what that course is about. I skipped that season. I mean semester. <laughs> well, now, if she were my girlfriend, I wouldn't be trying to figure out who she was now, would I? Sheesh. <laughs> I'm kidding about this woman being your girlfriend. She's actually mine. No, I'm kidding again. This is Margaret Leonard. She's had a room here at the Ritz forever. She used to live here, but I haven't seen her in years. So, she may not be here anymore, but she auto pays her rent. So, it's all good. Any chance you can get me into her apartment? <laughs> not a chance in hell. I let her install her own security system, just like you. Except hers is a real one. I can't tell you which apartment it is, but you won't get in without a passcode or a personal invitation. Maybe I could try to help you with something else. <laughs> okay, we've already showed him the photo, but I want to see what else he says about it. No, I bet she was something back in the day. <laughs> Way back in the day. <laughs> um, This guy really nailed the course called How to Act with a Bunch of silly putty on your eyeball <laughs> margaret leonard all i know about her is she's got a room here i hardly ever see her so i don't know when she's here and when she isn't freeze gun which we've already found but let's clear out the, the uh list here can't help you with that didn't think so photo of woman i know for a fact i've never seen this fox before because if i had she'd be my lady love you creep me out a little bit. I'm just saying. Just a little bit. Okay, a lot. A whole lot. Inspector Burns Barbecue. I haven't tried it. They say that the sauce will melt your eyeballs, and that's a risk I'm just not willing to take. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> okay, so now we have a problem in front of us. We can go right back up to that uh, second floor apartment. I wonder if we can talk to her yet. Aww. Sapphire. I want to meet ya. Some other, some other day, some other case, or at least not this episode. Okay. Margaret Leonard's apartment, and by the fact that there's only one door on this side, it means it must be a pretty large and possibly swanky apartment. We have a keypad here. Yeah, needs a key. Some way to find out. You got anything? A picture of Margaret Leonard. Would there be a key code in the back? No. Look at her. Smoking. <laughs> well, you know, back in the day, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Bar napkin. I'm wondering if this bar napkin will come into play. 635. Sixteen nine. Hmm. I don't understand why a bar napkin would be the code to Margaret Leonard's apartment, so this is I highly doubt that Margaret Leonard was giving us smooches on a bar napkin. <clears throat> Excuse me. Llama Club security key. The Llama Club. I still don't know where that is. I wonder... How can we get into her apartment? Thinkity, 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 thinkity. Uh, let me see here.
I wish he'd let me. I, I wish that there was an option for us to ask about Sapphire. Be great if we could go to the manager's office and snoop around. Door. Thanks. <laughs> so helpful. Okay, well. I'm at a loss as to things to do here as far as like where to find out that key code. So for lacking of a better um, thing to do, let's go up to our apartment and see if there's anything waiting for us. I keep hoping we can, like, look things up on the computer somehow. Nope. Nothing waiting on the vid phone. I'll admit it, ladies and gentlemen, I'm stuck. So, not sure what to do. The county footrest. Picked it up at a government warehouse sale years back. But I've never had the nerve to open it all the way. <laughs> okay. So that's interesting that he remembers that he picked this up a couple of years back, but he had just lost his memory. I think that might be a little mistake. Got more candy comics to reward ourselves with, but I just can't think of what to do next. Where would we go to find out more information about Margaret Leonard? Well, I just sat here and had a think. And, um, all that I done thunk is that we could go down to the car and head, possibly that we might get more information, Quake Tower, Golden Gate Hotel, Texas Office, Ritz Hotel, the Beach House, we've pretty much finished with that, the Resort... Nope, none of that's hitting the bell. Well, I guess it's time to ask for a hint. This is... Hey, never mind. Wait a minute. Rooks is open again. Ha ha! Just an empty world is all I have before. Rook, since when have you been playing music outside of Rook's Pond? Do you hear that, you guys? I don't think that was playing before. Maybe Rook is depressed. Let's find out. Uh, we need to talk. Oh, uh, do we have to, really? Yeah, trust me. You may be involved in what happened to me. Oh, the very thought makes me giddy. I knew you'd be pleased to hear that. But it's all tied to items of Nikola Tesla and a man named Mason Bowers. Well, it's true. It's true. I've had some very rare Tesla items in my possession from time to time, but... I have uh, never heard of this uh, Mason Bowers. Do you know Carlos Maldonado? Well, of course I know that wretched swine. Tell me how he ties into Tesla. Well, Maldonado tried to bribe and threaten me to reveal my source at my Tesla items, but I didn't give it to him and I won't give it to you. Do you think Maldonado was the one watching you? I think so. Oh, my, 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 that could be troublesome. Mm. I need to make some inquiries. Uh, is there anything else? Of course there is. There's always something else. With a guy as attractive as you are, I could talk for hours. We have three things here. Margaret Leonard photo, Tesla cachet, and Margaret Leonard herself. First, the photo. I met Margaret years ago. She was a woman of secrets. Secrets. Hmm. Well, we're going to find out what those secrets are and the cash. I have an interest in Tesla collectibles, so yes, I've heard of it. And no, I don't know where you could find it. I'm sure if, if you did, you certainly wouldn't be sitting here. 
Margaret Leonard herself? I met Margaret years ago. She was a woman of secrets. We heard that already. You want to tell us what some of those secrets are? No? That's it? That's all you got? Rook, you're a hard, hard man. Well, since he says he can find out something for us... Yeah, I'm still stuck. I mean, or I should say, you know, we have to wait a little bit. I don't know how long. And we're still stuck on finding that code. So, over here, how to find more information about Margaret Leonard at Chandler Avenue. We've got everything done at the beach house. And, oh, and this is part of our Smart Alex guide. If I click on this, we're going to lose some points that we've gathered from being awesome investigators. Oh, I don't want to click on it yet. I'm going to still struggle along on my on my own some so yeah I'm gonna click out of this and see go back when all else fails in an adventure game go back to the apartment or the place where you get messages because maybe like talking to Rook triggered a message like he might send us some information like a fax or something like a fax, like a fax. Come on, give me a fa oh, crapper doodle. <laughs> and there is mm, no messages on the vid phone. Dang it, Humph. All right, well, in sheer desperation, I'm going to end this episode here. <laughs> And in the next episode, I will come back brain refreshed and we will attempt to get out of this stuck spot we're in. If you have any ideas, leave them in the comment section below or better yet over at reddit at reddit.com forward slash r forward slash the Jesse channel. That's where I hang out and uh, viewers hang out there as well. So if you have a comment, let me know. And um, if you know where I could get unstuck. Like I said, if we have to, we'll click the big old thing that says you're too silly to be able to figure this out, but I don't want to give in yet. I shall prevail, etc., etc. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, and by the way, if you liked what you saw, please hit the thumbs up button below. And if you loved it, join the party and subscribe. I'll see you back here in 2050 Tex Murphy's San Francisco in the next episode. As always, thank you so much for watching. Commenting with Google Plus sucks, but commenting with Reddit is awesome. So head on over to Reddit and leave a comment on this video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.